you know, I also, I over the years, I think too, uh, Ryan, that we all have a little bit of a fear of being found out, you know, um, mm -hmm. and and I think that's that's one of the of the barriers to to people getting counseling services or one of the reasons counseling can be stigmatized is it's like, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to share my yeah. uh, deepest hurts and, and biggest flaws. And my counselor is going to think I'm a bad person or people who see me walking out of the office are going to think I'm a bad person. I think we all have some fear of being found out, but it's really not until I am fully known that some of my greatest hurts and flaws can begin to be changed. Yeah. And so there really is is something important that happens uh, when I am found out. What clients over the years have told me is that it is so liberating. At, at first, it was it was such a fearful thing that right. I'm going to be found Very, out. But, but man, yeah, then to share and 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 to be fully known, man, it's so freeing. Yeah, and I think what I would tell people, you know, if, if anyone's watching this, right, and I'm, I've had my own counseling, Trent. I think you've you've been for sure, yeah, well. lots. Yeah, <laughs> so. Likewise, um, you know, I think I would tell people, you actually have the power. And, and what I mean by that is, mm. it's up to you in terms of what counselor you see. So I would encourage you take that first step, reach out with a counselor, sit to it to a counselor, sit down with them. And if you don't like them, find somebody else, period. That's how it works. Find another counselor. And for some people, it may take two or three counselors before they actually have a conversation with someone and like, I kind of click with them. Like, this works, I feel comfortable, I feel safe. And I would encourage people to, to remember that. You know, so I think some of the fears in terms of what are they gonna think about me? Um, you, know, you know, what if I get a label? I mean, all these different things, you really have the power in choosing who you get to tell your story to. And if, it's, if they're not it, then go find someone else, period. And I, and I would say, take that first step, reach out to someone and give it a shot. And if they're not the right fit, keep looking because you will find, you will find the right counselor. In Colorado, there's over 10,000 professional counselors in Colorado. There's a lot of people out there who are willing to sit down with you and hear your story. And there's also a lot of people out there who are more than happy to engage a biblically based Christian perspective into ethical clinical mental health counseling and, and incorporate that into your story and into your journey and into the processing. <laughs>